Most of the time we feel that we are ineligible and insignificant persons in the world. Due to that inferiority complex, we often isolate ourselves and not able to mingle with other people. The problem is that we don't know what we are. If we have a clear idea about ourselves, then these kind of complexes will go away. We are not ordinary people. We can read many characters in the Bible about how God lifted up them. In Genesis we are reading about Joseph. He was despised by his parents and his brothers. His brothers were envy on him and thrown him in a dry pit. After that they sold him as a slave. He was a slave and in prison. But God lifted him as second commander after King Pharaoh in Egypt. Gideon was least and weakest in Israel. Judges chapter 6 and verse 15. So Gideon said to Angel, O oh my Lord, how can I save Israel? Indeed my clan is the weakest in Manasseh, and I am the least in my father's house. Because of the fear the enemies Gideon secretly threshed wheat in the winepress, in order to hide it from the Midianites. God has Cusan Gideon and through him he gave victory over their enemies. David was a small boy and was in the wilderness after the sheep. He was despised by his parents and brothers. When prophet Samuel asked to show the children of Jesse for anointing of the Lord for choosing a king over Israel, Jesse showed all the sons except David. Because David was a small boy. But God cousined the small boy David and made him a greatest king over Israel. You take Jesus' disciples, all of them were fishermen and they are very simple persons and they are illiterate. ACTs chapter 4 and verse 13. Now when they saw the boldness of Peter and John, and perceived that they were uneducated and untrained men, they marveled. And they realized that they had been with Jesus. So God can take any person from any background and use him mightily. We are the children of the living God. God had cousin ourselves before the foundation of this world. Ephesians chapter 1 and verse 4. Just as he chose us in him before the foundation of the world, that we should be holy and without blame before him in love. Jeremiah chapter 1 and verse 5. Before I formed you in the womb I knew you, before you were born I sanctified you, I ordained you a prophet to the nations. Judges chapter 6 and verse 14. Then the Lord turned to him and said, Go in this might of yours, and you shall save Israel from the hand of the Midianites. Have I not sent you? God calls people at all ages at all seasons in life to do a great things for him. God will choose ordinary people and make them extraordinary people. Verse of the day, 1 Peter chapter 2 and verse 9. But you are a chosen generation, a royal priesthood, a holy nation, his own special people, that you may proclaim the praises of him who called you out of darkness into his marvelous light. Prayer. Dear loving Heavenly Father, we praise your holy name. We worship you and adore you, O Lord. Thank you for this new day. We thank you for today's Bible study. Yes Lord, you choose ordinary people and make them extraordinary people. We submit ourselves into your presence. Sometimes we also feel that we are insignificant and not worthy to do great things for the Lord. Apostle Paul says in Philippians chapter 4 and verse 13, I can do all things through Christ who strengthens me. Yes Lord, we also can do great things because you strengthen us. You are empowering us with your Holy Spirit, who can teach us all things. It's not our own will but let your will be done in our lives O Lord. Thank you Lord for hearing and answering our prayer. In the most powerful name of our Lord and Saviour Jesus Christ, we pray, Amen.